everyone, this is Lollipop Boy one mle here today and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. Today we are continuing the American Girl Historical Be Forever at Hogwarts by doing Felicity and Elizabeth. Now we're starting with Felicity here in the first part of this video. Felicity is a spunky, spirited, colonial girl. She is very active for a girl growing up in the 1770s. Her stories take place in 1774 and ends in 1776. Both hers and Elizabeth's, actually. And basically, Felicity is one of my top favorite historical character. And while refreshing my memory for the research, there was no doubt in my mind that Felicity's a Gryffindor. N no doubt. And I will get to that in a bit. So anyways, hers, Elizabeth's, and two more female characters in their series. Uh, Felicity's younger sister, Nan, and Elizabeth's older sister, Annabelle, will have this outfit <laughs> inspiration right here. Felicity's lace jacket and petticoat design. That was right there on the screen. So anyways, that's basically where, how I'm basing their Hogwarts uniform there. So anyways, how Felicity is a Gryffindor? Well, first of all, she's active for her age and for a lady. And plus, she saved Penny without, and without uttering a second thought from Jiggy Nye, the horse breeder who was extremely abusive to Penny. And of course, Penny had Patriot. So... Anyways, Felicity was actually well portrayed in the movie Felicity and American Girl Adventure by Shailene Woodley, who was her actress. She did an excellent job, and I think that was her first film, her first role in 2005. So anyways, with Felicity, um, anyways, back onto her siblings, I'm doing Nan only because we know a bit about her characteristics, even though sh she's a six to seven year old. But her character is well established. So Nan will be featured in the second part. I'm not doing William or pa and Polly because, well, they're basically too young. Willi in case you don't know, if you're new to American Girl, William is uh, Felicity's only brother, her younger brother. And Polly is Felicity's baby sister. So, basically, they would be too young to be sorted. But Nan, I was able to sort. So, anyway, but again, you'll see Nan in the second part of this episode. But, well, not in this episode, but the second half, like, the second part that would be edited. I just have to color her. So, anyways, during the coloring process, I, my old stylus pen decided to rip on me. The rubber part decided to rip. And I had to order a new stylus pen off of Amazon. And that's why a lot of the art is a lot more quicker. And it's awesome. Anyways. Um. With like, I, of course I made her ribbon, her hair ribbon red and all that stuff. And her mop cap and the cuffs of her sleeves and her uh, neckline, the ruffles around her neck, well, not around her neck, her cut, like the lining were hard because they were white. So I had to go back. Oh, I also had to go back and do more texturing and shading of her, like her hair and her eyes. But anyways, Felicity's um, outfit was pretty simple for her Hogwarts uniform. I kept her skirt red like in her school outfit, and I made her short dress or jacket um, gray with gold trim and gold lace, and that's what I did there, and that's pretty much it right there. Like, I pretty much <clears throat> flew by with this. So, um, let's see, I made her cloak black with the red lining to, of course, symbolize that she's a Gryffindor. Our spunky Gryffindor, no doubt about it. And she is the second Gryffindor that I sorted. 
in the main line after Kaya. Kaya is another Gryffindor that I just did and her video would be posted in the link description or you can go through my playlist. Now something I did with her cloak, I actually outlined her cloak with light gray because with black you can go get away with the outline being gray or blue or like a light blue like a dark blue or something. The lining is red. Uh, duh, because it's Gryffindor colors. But I had to make it a little bit darker because I didn't want it to compete with her skirt. Her wand is Applewood. I chose Applewood for her. Which, I thought that was interesting. And of course, I took the sorting quiz and I took the wand quiz. My wand's cherry wood. And don't worry, I would bring... And someone's going to have a cherry wood wand in the series that I'm doing. So, as I complete Felicity, and you'll see the final piece of her. So, anyways, I'm sorry for the awkward pauses. So, that is it for Felicity in the first half of this video you are watching right now. I'm doing the background, which has green, uh, like, um, hue or, like, tint over it. So here it is. Here's Felicity done. Now, in the second half of this video, I did her best friend, Elizabeth Cole. She and, El she and Felicity are the merriest girls of Virginia. At least according to Felicity's father, Edward Merriman. So anyways, with... Elizabeth, I did have a hard time doing her face a little bit, but I got it to this pose right there. And with doing Elizabeth, who was my sixth doll, by the way, she um, she's more shy. And like in part of this video, I actually mentioned that she is like the po she's another she's one of those polar opposites of Felicity. Like, she's a loyalist. Not just that, she's a loyalist. But believes in some forms of independence. But she's, like, more shy because she's new in town. She and her sister Annabelle are new. And Annabelle, I will be... Do she will be featured in the second part. So, anyways, with Elizabeth... The interesting thing about Elizabeth is that she... Um, had to had a huge retcon in terms of the illustrations and her doll. Basically, of course, with Felicity, she had three different meat outfits: rose print gown, the lavender or traveling gown, and now her blue, her turquoise and gold gown in 2017. But with Elizabeth, in 1991 till 2005. Her illustrations were that she is a brunette with um, brown eyes. But when they did the casting for the movie, the TV movie, the actress that played, that was casted to play Elizabeth was a blonde with blue eyes. So the illustrator that did the Felicity books had to go in and redo the illustrations of Elizabeth and make her a blonde with blue eyes. And of course, like, a, of course, the author went in and changed, like, edited Elizabeth's ha um, hair color and eye color. And had to, and of course, when American Girl made the doll, they made her with blue eyes and blonde hair with the whole Safina face mold. Now, that's not to say that there are some American Girl fans out there that made Elizabeth a brunette Elizabeth. Like, by just using a Julie doll who already had the brown, has the brown eyes, but they just had to re-wig her with a brown wig that's wavy and curly, whatever. Do their hairstyle, get her clothes, and boom. Now there's another doll, there's a couple other dolls that, um have the Josefina mold with brown eyes and light skin nowadays. So basically the house I sorted Elizabeth in was Ravenclaw. Although she would have also been a good fit for a Hufflepuff as well. So and also the difference between 
that's not the, the big difference with the skirts, but also with the short, her jacket has bronze tri- bronze uh, t- trim and lacing, while with Felicity's, it's more gold. So, with that being said, um, Feliz- uh, Elizabeth, sorry, Elizabeth is holding her book, casting spells and all that stuff, and her wand, as you'll see in a little bit, I chose cypress wood for her, which is pretty freaking cool. Like, I just choose wand woods that are fairly, very freaking appealing. Like, honestly. <laughs> so, Elizabeth hates being nicknamed Bitsy by Annabelle, but Elizabeth and Felicity do tease Annabelle right back and call her Banana Bell. And I will get to that, like I said, in the second part of this two-parter. So, here's her cypress wood wand. It's light cypress wood with the texturing and all that stuff. And after I completed Elizabeth, after I completed her, I made a copy of the final piece. And I went back and I overlaid some brown over the blonde to also make her a brunette version. A brunette version to please those that like Elizabeth as a brunette better than a blonde. So anyways, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you stay tuned for part two. If you do, please subscribe for more Lollipop Speeders and Lollipop Sings in the future. And here you go. That's the brunette version right there. So please subscribe, like, share this video with your friends, and follow me on Instagram and DeviantArt and Twitter, and peace out.